What's up guys, in today's video we are going to be giving you guys our first impressions and a how-to video on how to put together the brand new MacShine Premium Heavy Duty Detailing Cart. Let's go. As you guys know, I love the MacShine M8 SV2. This is the number one polisher that you can use for waxing your boat and sanding your boat and even polishing your boat. I love this machine from MacShine, but they did offer to send me out their cart. This is a brand new option that they just launched and is a premium heavy duty detailing cart. We are going to go over exactly how to put this cart together it was a super simple process it only took me about 30 minutes to actually put this cart together and that was with filming it and moving the camera around and all of that good stuff so let's go ahead and talk about the cart so guys here's the box that it came in it was a really nice box with branding on there you can also see a brief description of the cart on the back of the box Alrighty guys, so we got everything out of the box. We have this nice instruction manual right here. It seems pretty simple for the most part. It looks like we have all of the tools to actually assemble the whole thing. So hopefully we won't need any external tools. Let's go ahead, follow the instructions and get this cart put together. Let's go. Alrighty, so we got the wheels on. That was super easy, just tighten them on. Now we're gonna start putting these lower legs on there. It looks like there's a small little screw, so we're gonna have to find that. I have one leg in, ready to go. And one thing to note is the side that goes down has a little hole for the screw. The other sides do not. We're gonna put all four on and get these screwed in. Now we got everything on here, but it looks like we have to add maybe one more screw here at the top. And then we have these handles that we need to add to the sides. Let's go. So now we have these little caps right here that just kind of go right into these plug holes to really make a nice flush finish on the top of the rails. All right, so now we have these little clips that kind of go on this side here. You can hang towels or pads or anything on here. I'm gonna add a few of these clips to see how it goes. Whenever you want to change it, you just take your finger, pull up on the tab and you can remove them. That's actually really cool. That's a sick feature. I went ahead and switched these out for the detail brush holder. So when we're like washing, we can have a few different detail brushes. May not even use the hooks, but they're nice that they're there. Right here, we have a bunch of the new brushes. Let's go ahead and hook a few brushes up to the side and make sure they fit. Alrighty guys, so our cart is completely finished. We got everything bolted together. Everything looks pretty smooth. Again, we got our two wrenches. This one was to get the tires done. I did have to use this part of this wrench to be able to tighten all of the screws that mounted the arms together to build the structure. I did use the screwdriver just for a second, but I did switch to my drill just to make it a little faster. I am not an expert at building things or making review videos. I probably should be the last person to be making a video about how to put something together properly. I do have a few extra screws I'm not sure if the screws came in the kit extra, which would be cool in case you lost one, or I possibly just did not put the screws where they belong. That is a major possibility. But if they did put extra screws, that's pretty great. This card, I believe, is gonna come in handy when I do my details outside of the shop with washing. We'll have our detail brushes and our mitts here ready to go, and then our foam cannon eventually. The only thing that kind of bums me out is that these cup holders up here, there's not one big enough for the foam cannon. It would have been nice to see a cup holder that the foam cannon could sit in. Overall, guys, so far, I am crazy happy with the build it really does feel like 
solid plastic. It's not shaky, it's not bendy. We have two really nice handles that are really made from nice durable plastic. We have four cup holders that can hold a 32 ounce bottle or a 16 ounce bottle right here. You can also hang your spray bottles on the side just fine. It's got a nice little lip where they won't really come off. We have two polisher holders right here. It fits the Max Shine M8S V2 just perfect. And you can also fit a rotary polisher in there with the pad. Any polisher that you have, two of them will fit on this cart. I also have the brand new Max Shine Mini Cordless right here on the ledge. On the back here, we have our detail brushes for when we're cleaning. You can adjust these clips at any time. These clips are nice. The clips feel a little flimsy. I wish they were maybe a little bit better construction. We'll see over time how they hold up. I think they'll do just fine. On the top of the cart here, we have some really nice branding that says Max Shine all for detailing. It really looks really nice. The red and the black looks really sweet as well. I'm really liking the red and the black. And it's super cool that we have one layer, two layer, and three layers. So you have three different compartments. You can see here, I just have some folded microfiber towels. When I'm washing, I'll probably throw a drying towel in here or just other little knickknacks. You can store some pads in here as well. Guys, there's nothing crazy fancy here. This product is a great product. I think it's gonna hold up over time. Like I said, the plastic on it, the construction is really nice. It doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel cheap. It really feels nice. It actually has a decent little weight to it as well. It's not super easy to even lift up. Like it's really nice. It's got two locking wheels. You can lock them in place if you'd like, and then you can unlock them. Only two of them lock though. But overall, the wheels feel really nice. I can roll this cart around in my shop just fine, and I'm really looking forward to using it on this boat. If you guys would like to purchase the Max Shine Premium Heavy Duty Detailing Cart, we do have a link in the description section down below. If you go to MaxShineUSA.com and use our discount code DRAKE15 at checkout, you will save yourself 15% on your entire order. So if you want to save 15% off on your order and you want to get maybe a cart and the Max Shine M8 SV2 to polish out your boat and maybe a few detailing brushes, some drying towels, and a wash mitt, everything that you need to kind of detail your boat, if you go to MaxShineUSA.com, use our discount code DRAKE15 at checkout, you can save 15% on the premium heavy-duty detailing cart from MaxShineUSA.com.